Hello, welcome to Old Scale Modeling, and welcome to episode 11 of our Ravel search and rescue vessel build. And what I'm going to show you here is the upper deck with the control panels on the side, which I'm in the process of uh, gluing these in. So you can see the panels on there. I haven't detailed or painted them yet. I've just done it all green. But I've glued that in. It went in perfect. I just had to trim a little bit in the corner there, but otherwise, perfect fit. So happy with that. Um, these panels down here will go in underneath. I'll just go down in there, uh, which is what I'm about to do now. But also on here, I need to paint these on each side. They're black in there. And then that's where the lights go. We've got red on one side and green on the other, which you would have seen in the previous video of me uh, doing. So I can probably show you them. They're very tiny, though. Um, there's, oh, there's one. <laughs> so that's the red one. That's uh, with the brass, made with the brass. So I'm going to do that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and go back and you can, if you just come and watch this for the first time, we're actually up to episode 11, like I said, and uh, you can go back right to the unboxing in the playlist and catch up if you want right through. Um, and uh, comments are welcome. Give us a thumbs up at the end, and uh, all's good. Now, I also did a uh, bonus video um, last week which consisted of doing the interior of the bridge area. So that's worth, if you missed that, um, go back and have a look at that. That's not part of the kit. That was just something I scratch built to fill in a blank area that, that um, yeah, the kit doesn't come with any interior. But yeah, go back and have a look at that video. It's in the playlist. And uh, all good. So I'll get on with this because I want to get this fitted. Uh, needs to go up on the top here. It's already been checked and it does fit, so that's all good. And um, once that's on, then we'll be able to place the... Uh, I was going to say cockpit. I was, almost said that twice in the other video as well. Uh, we'll be able to put the bridge on and start that. Uh, this will also let us tick off a few of these too. So step 30 will be done as soon as I've done all that. Uh, 31, 32, 33 is all building up the cockpit, which we did in the previous video. 34 is the same, including putting the glass in there. We did all the windscreen wipers. 35 there is putting gluing them together. We've done that. And then step 36 is actually putting it on the top of the deck here. Now, also with that, you'll see there's a couple of railings which I haven't got yet. They need to be painted white. Um, and there's also, which is a nice touch, I think, is there's a little bit of, there's clear plastic, which sits over the top of these control panels. So I guess when they're not in use and protect them from the weather, they're waterproof with these plastic coverings. And I guess you just flip that up when you want to access the controls. But uh, yeah, I thought that was quite... Uh, a good little thing. I noticed that in here when I was looking and they showed it up there. They showed it uh, gosh, I'm not looking anywhere where I'm supposed to be. Where did I see them? Over the page. Yeah, here we go. So we saw them here. These two pieces here and they go down on top of the panels. So that's good. So in this video we should get up to that done and then 37 we start heading towards the roof of our ship and there's a bit of uh areas around the outside that need to get put together and i've even gone to look at that so far and there's our roof section going on all right okay um all good i'll get on to this and we'll come back and have a look at a bit more progress in a second cheers all back shortly Okay, I'm back again. So let's have a look at what I've got done. I put the covers over the control panels. 
Uh, one thing to remember if you're doing this is when you put the throttle controls on there, don't have them sticking straight up, otherwise they're not going to clear the glass. You'll have to have them forward or back in, in those positions so the glass will fit them, as I found out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it went on well. I've also done underneath. There's our panel underneath with the little photo etch piece there. And that's all nice. Went in nice and square. And I've also put in the lights. So there's our red lights on that side. See that? And the green lights on that one. Um, another thing to remember with these is the photo etch pieces are a little bit higher than the plastic pieces. Which means when you go to put that top one in, it won't clear the plastic at the top. So what I had to do was cut the little um, slot off that goes through the hole just so I can move it down a millimetre and it would clear. But uh, it worked out all right, no problem. But yeah, the photo edge piece was just a little bit bigger. All right, so that's pretty much complete now. All there is left to do with, with this is to... Pretty much just put her on there, glue her on. So, um, yeah, I guess I better do that. All right, back after I've done that. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we've got all this on now. Just glued it on. That went on perfectly, everything lined up, and uh, no issues at all. So, came up really good I like the way that's looking so now we're up to the bridge we've got to put the bridge up on, on there and that will simply go roughly like that and then all our interior which you would have seen me put together in the bonus video if not go back and watch it um, yeah so, uh, yeah, I guess I'll start working on that. I'll just go through and check on my photo etch and make sure there's nothing I've left out. But I'm pretty confident that step 30 can be ticked off now because it's all done. And all of these 31, 32, 30, all the construction of the bridge is all done. So that'll all be ticked off as well. And like I said, I will go through... All the photo etch because we've got a lot of it <laughs> and just make sure there's nothing that i've missed uh i know there's bits of going on the roof of the the bridge but that's okay that can be done after we've installed it and uh then there's the mast and really working up so yeah Looking good, looking good. All right, again, back shortly when I um, get this top bit done. Okay, cheers, back in a minute. Okay, welcome back again. So I've glued this in, it's all glued down. Uh, I'll be fitting the interior, but first I'm just working on the piece around the top here, which is in step 37. So it's these three pieces here. Um, they need to go down on top. Now, I've got to paint them separately. They need to be that same fluorescent orange that we've done before. So I'm joining them, which is what I've done there. There it is. I've measured it up. That'll fit perfectly on there. There's also a small piece to go on the back. And that'll go on the back of there. So I'm going to paint these in that oil color orange I've got and then the roof goes in between on the next step so I've already once again I've fitted it so oh, drop everything <laughs> here we go uh, yeah so I'm just showing you how the roof has been just slots in there and fits good and that roof will be white, so that'll be separate. So, yeah. 
So I'll be painting that. I guess I might as well get that painted white as well. Uh, so for the moment, we'll be I'll undercoat both lots, all of these, and uh, and yeah, I will. I'll, I'll do the white on the roof. I'll just check to see what else has got to go on that first, because some of the other bits and pieces might be better to put on before I attach actually attach it to here. We'll see. All right, so I'm going to do this now. This is that oil paint, so it's going to take a good two days to dry, um, but uh, it'll be all right. Okay, um, once again, back shortly in your time. <laughs> Not so short in my time. Hey there, welcome back. So, for a bit of an update, uh, I've got that piece that goes around the roof painted and it's drying so that'll take a bit of time um, with this the roof here i've um, put on the supports where the spotlights go there's also a third spotlight or searchlight i should say going there this will all be painted white and so will those so that's why i've put them on now and then we've got the searchlights here and there's one of them there now they're not there's not much detail on them and there's no photo etch for any of it and there's a bit deceiving too because i'll show you in the instructions where is it here so if you look at the instructions there they are there there's the three of them and if you look at the back piece where it's the a is pointing to which is the color white it's going to be sprayed. See how it's square and it looks like it's flat? You can see the detail in that. Well, that's actually what it looks like there on the back of them. There's no detail at all. It's just got that hole there. I don't know why that's there. And this is on the back of the searchlight. That's the front with the lens. The lens, of course, I'll do chrome inside and then I'll do a clear... Um, with my ammo glue that dries clear, I'll, I'll make that look like it's got glass in it. But yeah, so look at the back compared to that. It's nothing like it. That's why I thought, well, photo edge? No, nope, there's no photo edge for it. It's just the way it is. But anyway, the way these mount, they do come, there is photo edge separate. And I'll show you what that looks like. Here we go here. So there it is there. So I've built up these frames that go around the back of the searchlight here. So at least that will cover up some of it. Then there's like an aerial that goes on the back. There's another little piece, which is this bit here, a little box that goes on the back of there. And then there's little harnesses that strap in to hold that aerial up. And it seems to be quite a high aerial. There they are. There it is there. We've made two of those out of the brass pieces we've got. So I will probably put them together because there's two pieces that go together there. Uh, but I won't put them on because obviously they'll get knocked off. So that'll be one of the last things. But they are quite high. They almost go as high as the mast on the ship. So anyway, so these pieces I've started on. So there's one there. So I've got that bent. Uh, and again, with that um, steel photo etch, that box is part of the... So the frame itself is the, the normal photo etch like this, nice thin stuff. But that little box there that went on, that's from the steel photo etch. And there's no there's no crease marks on that stuff on this and it is really still hard <laughs> so again bending that into just that shape of that box very very hard um, if you want to get nice straight lines um, which is why i used my photo edge um, master tools bending tool <laughs> because you've got to clamp it down hard and really get stuck into it.
But anyway, so two of them are done. Um, they'll sit around the frame. Whoop, I'll get that out of there. <laughs> they'll sit around the frame of the... Uh, where'd that go? There it is. Of the spotlight on the roof. Okay. There's the three spotlights are down here that I'm working on. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll put the frames on here. Um, then I will put the spotlights on there because they're also white, um, except for the top cover. So the, the top of them are uh, chrome, chrome aluminium. And I think it'll be best if I just brush that on afterwards. Sorry, you can't see. Yeah, so the top of the three spotlights are chrome. So I'll do that after they're on. I'll just brush that on. And I'll also do the lens on that as well. All right, so that's all happening while uh, I'm waiting for this part to dry. And then I'll get all that sprayed and all this sprayed and put on too. All right, I will continue on. I'll be back again. Hello, welcome back. All right, so I don't know what I, what I showed you in the last video, but anyway, I've got these made up with the little boxes glued on there. See that? There it is. And you'll see that there's beside that box is where the aerial goes. There's one, there's one aerial. And that's only part of it, but it, actually it's longer, but there's a hole in the end there that the next section slips into. So that'll make it easier to make sure it's straight. <laughs> um, and it will go, just hold this so you can see better. So the aerial is going to be mounted on there like that. And then there's some brackets, and they're the brackets down there, which I've bent. The best way to do that was to use this and uh, just fold them around so you know they're going to fit tight. And then uh, and they will sit in there. Now, I will glue this on now, but I won't put the second half of it on. So if it's not quite as long, then there's less chance it's going to get knocked. And um, plus there's not much I'll be working around that. The the mast is completely built separate, so so that's not going to be in the way. All right, now, just that one, it won't stand up, but anyway. Now, I've done the roof with the spotlights here. You can see them there. So there's also a couple of aerials on here. Strangely, there's no brass replacement for that aerial, so I've just put the plastic one on. Uh, in fact, on the photo etch um, instructions, it, it shows this location with nothing there. Also here, there's another little post here with, which looks like a light or something on it. I'll have to double check what that is. But even though the ship instructions have that going where it is, the photo of it on the actual, I'll show you actually. So as you can see, there's doesn't show any of those on the roof. And even in the completed full pictures with the photo etch, it still doesn't show that those are actually there. There's, a, there's one there that shows it all finished with the mast on top. <coughs> Excuse me. And you'll see that they're not there either. But they are on the ship, so I'm putting them on there. That's what those look like. As you can see, look how high those antennas are. So I um, have to be very careful. Like I'll, They'll only be half as high. The other one I'll put on at the end. But all that will be painted white, like I mentioned. And then I'll detail the tops of these, which are going to be chrome. And then I'll do a bit of detail to get the, the lights um, looking like there's uh, lenses there. They are proper lights. And of course, the photo etch pieces will sit on the back 
of the two outside ones. Pretty much like that, but it won't stand up. <laughs> All right, so I will glue these down actually. Um, but first I'll attach that mast and its clamps. There's two clamps on each one to hold it in place. Um, and then I'll give it a spray and we'll come back and have a look before I do a bit more of the detail on there. Okay. And we'll also have a look at the other part that I've painted the fluorescent orange goes around that this sits in. We'll see how that's looking because that would have dried overnight by now, but I think it needs a bit longer being an oil paint. So, okay, be back shortly. Hey there guys, I'm back just for a sec to show you. That, um, I've glued the first two little brackets on here. Um, and it's worked out really well because what I find now is that the actual aerial, I can just slide in under those brackets and it'll stay in place. Which is great, which means I can paint it while it's all like that and then I can take that off to put it on later so it's not going to get damaged. So if you get those brackets just the right size and wrap, use this as the, the aerial to get the curve in them that you need, then you'll get it to fit like that. Okay, and that way I'll be able to take that away and put it aside right at the end of the build, put them in there when I know they're not going to get broken off. Just thought I'd show that. Okay, I'll keep going with this. I'll be back again shortly. Okay, hello again. All right, so an update. I've got those parts of the roof area drying. They're all um, undercoat. I'll be able to go in there in about five minutes and give them the white coat. And then I'll come out and do the detail of that. But while I'm waiting for that to dry, I figure, well, I'll, I'll have a go at this um, railing. So there's this railing here that goes across. And I'll tell you what. It's pretty tricky. Now, there's the instructions. I'll just get in there so you can see it. Look at the shape of that thing. It comes around from the top of the stairs, around the front, it goes over that um, water pipe for the water cannons, across the back, over the pipe again, and around the other part, over to the other stairs. Now, I don't know if my piece was bent more than the kit piece should have been but when I took it off the sprue and I tried to position it on there 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 was no way no way in the world <laughs> it was going to go where it's supposed to go so after a bit of uh, well a lot of re-architecture designing um, cutting I've managed to get it to fit but I had to cut out the center there which I will just um, will just put that down as an access point to reach the levers to for those valves on the water pipe there to be open and closed um, because it's the only way with the crazy angle that thing's at that I could fit it and uh, and it worked but uh, good luck when you try it on your kit if you're going to build this. Um, yeah, you, you'll see what I mean. Unless mine was just unfortunately bent wrong. It was just impossible to tell. Um, yeah, it was impossible to tell. Uh, but it's on. And uh, that's the important thing. <laughs> so, now, let me just adjust the camera back. Hang on one second. Okay, so... Now that because I've, I'm waiting for these parts to dry here, they're the fluoro orange color, and I'm waiting for the bits on the roof to do because we jumped ahead so I could put the spotlights on there and, and all the little aerials and stuff. So that, uh, I can't tick that off as done yet. We've got this railing on, so that's done. Now we move over, to, I'm gonna move on to step 39. 39 is interesting. <laughs> Because you put this together, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there's probably photo etch. I will go check the photo etch to see what needs to be done. But I'll get all this plastic off the sprue. And then you think, all right, we'll put that together. We'll go over the page. 
and then we're on to the helipad and some stairs and another wall and then there's a whole section at the rear to be built up but where's what's this where's this step 39 um there's another i think i've already made those up actually that's all right those boxes we go over the page again and we're going through we're putting stuff on the back here we're putting the helipads going down the exhaust pipes going underneath the helipad uh, some more bits there more, oh here we go so right over 10 steps later there's that piece referring back to 39 um, that obviously runs from the helipad across to the top of the platform here so it looks like all of this helipad and for some reason these bits on the bottom here too have to be built before we can put that on so another thing about this is really go through the instructions and keep an eye on things ahead I'll go back again because we've got to find where was it all right um it's even further back <laughs> 39 all right there's a lot to go so i'm going to put this together now um let me just quickly check if there's photo etch for that we'll be back in a sec okay so i'm lucky i checked up on this because <laughs> there's some photo etch not a great deal well let's have a look so this here step 23 on our photo etch sheet um that's part of it that's where it attaches onto the deck here um, there's no way of knowing that um, it's an extra part that doesn't replace anything from plastic it's just an extra piece and you'll see that they're showing how it fits in the only way i knew was e55 is the long piece that goes across so there's a bit, bit needs to be trimmed up and some photo etch added onto it and then it drops down onto this support beam okay and that's what it looks like where it goes down over those um, valves where i was talking about the railing there okay this i'm not sure what that is uh yeah i don't know where that that is that they're talking about but anyway <laughs> and then over the page on this we have this piece and all this is made up to go at the other end of it over here and that's the piece sitting on there that is is sitting on this section of it here this is sitting on the helicopter helipad and then you've got that beam going across okay if you can imagine that so yeah so that all goes on there so you can see what i mean i had to go back from step 23 back to 18 and 19 which shows a few more pieces of photo etch on that part that's on the helipad section so all that needs to be put together because it's all got to be sprayed before it goes on. Um, yeah. So there is photo itch. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's giving me, give me something to do to, to work on now while um, the roof section is drying. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go start on this, I guess, and um, see how that goes together. <laughs> all right. I'll be back shortly. Well, maybe not for me, but for you, shortly. Okay, welcome back. So I've got quite a bit done. And let's have a look at what I've got. So I've finished this part here on step 39, as I said I was. That's that arm extension that goes from the stern, almost the stern, of the ship and across onto the first level balcony where the winch is okay so there it is there and you can see there's a little bit of photo etch on there which is a light um, i think that's a light i'll check 
Um, there was a piece that sits on the back, so that's going to sit down on the deck like that and then come across to where that winch is. Now, there's a bit of photo etch on the end there, and it tells you to cut this off. So what you've got to do is just test fit it, see how far this reaches, and make sure that it's sitting where you want it to be. Um, because it that part there needs to sit in this little stand that was made. All right, so that's going to sit on top of that, and that sort of supports the crane. Okay, so that's done. Then another thing with this piece is that it incorrectly tells you to put this pulley system down about here. And there's another piece without the hook on it that goes where that is. But when you go around and you start to do the photo edge and you look at it, and I'll show you where it is on here. So there's a view of it here where it shows you there's the arm going across there. And that's where it sits in the little cradle that we build. And there's the piece that I've put on. And then there's that one there. But the instructions, the kit actually have those around the other way. And the reason you don't want to do that, and you want to do them that way, is because this connects down here by a cable behind the winch to a hook. And that hook is connected to the floor. Which is, I'll show you here, what I figured out this was. Okay, so, so there's that piece there that's all done that you just saw. I just made that up. There's where you got to trim off the end of the bar so it sits on that where you want it to. There it is sitting in position. So I've got all that figured out and that's all going to work. So here's the hook. There's about... So one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of photo etch in there, one brass piece, hollow brass piece, and a cable. And there's where it goes behind the winch, which ideally I should have done this before I put the roof on, well, the top of the ship, I guess you'd call it, because this is quite difficult to reach now because this is all underneath. I'll show you in a second. But that's going to sit like that and be connected to the cable on the that little hook on the bottom of there. Okay, you got that. And the piece I just made up is that one there. So you can see there's the hook running through. Where the toothpick goes in is where the cable will come out. So that will actually sit like that. And that little piece there sits on the deck and it's got a hoop in it and that will hook to it like that. All right. Tricky. <laughs> that bit there I'm going to do grey. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to hand paint that grey so it'll sit on the deck grey. And this part here I may also do this uh, a silver grey colour because it is metal and I don't think it would be painted white because of the it would get handled so much um, that the paint just wouldn't last. Eh? It'd just get scratched off. Now, what I'll do now is I'll reposition and I'll show you exactly where I mean that that this end piece is going to sit on the ship. And I'll just bring it down. Hang on one sec. Okay, so here's a view of the deck. Here's our hoist or crane, I should say. Now, that will connect into there. There's a locating spot for it there. All right. And then this extends across and just sits across over there where that uh, support will go in the top of there. And then under there, see, there's our hook on the bottom of there. That's where our um, cable will reach down behind that onto the floor where that hook will sit. Okay, so you can see what I mean. It would have been easier to build this um, and at least get that bit hooked in before I put this roof on. 
but it's okay there's room i can reach down i can reach in there that'll be fine but of course it's one of those things that i'm gonna have to leave towards the end because i won't be able to fit it until this is fitted and that's a little way off yet but yeah so that's going to go on like that okay so none of these are painted yet i'll have to go and um, prime these as well as the other pieces and get them all painted up ready um, i'll be able to put that support piece on the edge there so this piece here that'll go on there when it's painted that's no problem um, the hook and and that yeah I, I don't think i'll put them in yet because they need to be connected up to the crane and they're connected with it comes with a, a reel of cotton <laughs> one of these which i don't think are best i mean these are what i'm using for the safety lines that run around the deck um but i mean that's the best i can do really i mean i could use some old anchor chain i have somewhere but that's going to be way too fiddly so i'm happy to support it using that as per the instructions so i'm going to go paint that now just also i'll just go grab the piece that sits on here and we'll have a look at that so i hand painted that the bright fluorescent orange and we'll, i'll grab that and we'll have a look at it okay so there's those pieces all painted up i won't be doing it today i'll let them dry i know it's this oil paint that takes forever to dry i don't want to touch it but they're ready to go on the top of here which is for our roof section so that came up really nice i like the way they they look they've already been test fitted so i've got no problem with that and also well lots of bits and pieces getting done uh let me just move the boat i'll be back in a sec okay so here we go with this and yes this is a new tool i bought one of these little third hands because many times i need a third hand <laughs> so there's our spotlights and the roof is all painted and you'll notice that i think there should be a bit of a reflection yeah so i've done the um mig ammo glue to give those a reflection in there and it gives it look, looks like it's got lenses in there so um yeah that's come up well and as soon as i put those orange um, bits on the outside this will be ready to slide on as well okay but that will be in the next video I'm running out of time again so episode 12 we'll be doing what i just mentioned putting getting the roof on completely and getting those pieces i'll have them all painted up and we'll see how they look with the, the crane all done um, there is more photo etch to be added onto this as well. This um, this part here, I'm fairly sure there's some more bits and pieces to go on the back of that. But this is as far as that stage goes because the instructions then... Um, where was it? When we were up to yeah so as with the instructions i'll be able to tick off number 39 we'll have the roof on we'll put that on and 37 that's the bits that are painted so done 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 and we'll get started on the helipad how's that and that'll be in the next episode and that'll be episode 12 okay so please subscribe if you haven't already hit that notifications bell so you get notified of the videos as they get uploaded and please comment your comments are welcome um, any comments questions tips whatever let me know down below give us a thumbs up if you like this that helps with the analytics and helps get this out to more people and um, yeah 
all good so i'll see you all in the next part part 12 stay safe thanks all bye for now